Hey everyone, Pedro here with Cinemeld. Really excited to be here today with the Ronin 2 and one of our first products for the Ronin 2, um, a Ronin 2 Universal Mount. Now we have a couple products like our Cinemeld Ready Rig Spindles that already uh, we already made for a 30 millimeter tube, which already bolts right on here, as you can see. But the first product that we're launching specifically for the Ronin 2 is our Universal Mount. Now, you might be asking, why do I need a universal mount? Because the DJI Ronin actually already comes with a quote-unquote universal mount. That's a great question, um, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Why do you need our universal mount versus the one that comes with, the, with your Ronin 2? So if you already have one um, or you're doing research, uh, one of the things you'll notice when you first start looking into this universal mount is they don't use a sort of industry span standard spacing. Um, so there's a, there's a few things about the mount that left a little bit to be desired. And of course, this is where we come in and we've developed a product that we feel is a little bit more universal um, and does offer a lot more functionality over the mount that's included enough that uh, it would warrant your um, your purchase so uh, well let's get into it so um, one of the things is they like i was saying they don't use a uh, grip standard uh, hole spacing uh, which is a one inch on center of course our mount uh, and i'll show you here in the in an insert does have a row down the center of both a quarter 20 and three eighths um, mounting holes uh, that are uh, one inch on center spaced. Um, the other thing about their mount is that it's empty in the middle. As you can see here, there is no mounting points in the middle. And you're gonna see here today why that can become a problem for you and why you would want holes running down the center of the mount. So ours of course has that, so that offers a lot of advantages. So uh, starting off, one of the things that um, is a big advantage uh, about our mount is that it actually interfaces with a lot of the products that we already make. Uh, for example, um, we make a Steadicam arm post adapter. So for, for the people that own Steadicam vests and arms out there, this allows you to take the uh, arm post at the end of your uh, Steadicam and slide right in and therefore use your Steadicam arm and vest to stabilize the fourth axis. So we have this product. We have our Cinemilled Ready Rig um, spindle device. And um, of course, if you use our Pro Ring system, you'll be familiar with these clamps. So all of these products, the Pro Ring, the Steadicam adapter, and the swivel all use our clamp system. So of course, our mount is drilled for these clamps. So you'll notice that um, the clamps are spaced and so it'll thread right into the universal mount. And so you can use our universal mount to one <coughs> from the clamps, use our universal mount on your existing pro ring. If you're a pro ring user, you can use our Ronin 2 universal mount with our Steadicam arm post adapter. And that's one way you can now put your Ronin 2 on a Steadicam arm directly. Um, to do that, you would need our mount as the included DJI mount does not have the correct spacing for that. So that is really great. It makes it so that uh, now the Ronin 2 is compatible with those three other Cinemilled products, the swivel, the ring, and the Steadicam arm post adapter. So that's one big thing. The other big thing, as I was talking about, the hole in the center. Now, the hole in the center is important, why? So I'm offering two different ways you can mount your Ronin 2 on a Mitchell mount. So Mitchell mounts, for those of you out there that might not know, um, they are found, they've been used in Hollywood for almost a century. Um, and they more or less look like this. And um, I brought this here just uh, to demonstrate. So this might be on the end of a crane. This might be on a hi-hat that you may wanna use. This might be on a, on a tripod. This might be 
on the end of a techno crane, on the end of a car mount maybe that you're doing some vehicle work. So Mitchell mounts are everywhere. So it's very important that you'll be able to get your Ronin 2, which is very heavy duty. And of course you might be using it as a remote head on a Mitchell mount. So um, with the included DJI um, universal mount, there's really, it, it, you really have to sort of scratch your head to try to make that work with the Mitchell. So what we did is we gave you two options. So the first option, which you might already own, is we do make a Mitchell mount uh, washer and tie down knob. What that does is it fits in the Mitchell hole right there. And what you could then do is since you have a mounting hole in the center of your Ronin 2 mount, you'll see the Ronin 2 mount fits perfectly inside of the depression of the, the uh, Mitchell mount. So using the, the tie down knob, you could just screw in and now you have just mounted your Ronin 2 mount on a Mitchell mount using just our universal mount and our tie down knob and Mitchell washer. So that's one of the ways you can do it. The other way you can do it, and I would say this is the more traditional classic way that a lot of grips uh, prefer to work, and that is with a threaded, a Mitchell threaded collar and castle nut, which of course we sell on our website. You'll see as an option um, if you want to go look. Um, so the, the Mitchell threaded collar and castle nut is a very secure way. That's how you mount hundred pound payloads onto a Mitchell mount. The Mitchell mount, of course, as you can see, is usually a very heavy duty tile style mount. And so what you can do is our mount is drilled uh, quarter twenty and three eighths holes alternating. Um, you can take uh, a bolt, which you can purchase at a hardware store. We, uh, we might start offering bolt kits. You might see that as an option by the time you see this. Um, and you can, since we have, um, we have two locations here, which are two inch on center spaced. And so of course that lines up perfectly, which the, with the threaded collar. So boom, right? So there you go. So I have just mounted very securely with two three eighths bolts. That's very heavy duty a Mitchell threaded collar onto here. So how would that work? Now that you have a threaded collar on here, it drops right into the Mitchell like that. And then you take the uh, castle nut and you can now thread that on. So there you go. You have now securely mounted via a castle nut and threaded, uh, 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 threaded section. Mitchell threaded uh, onto a Mitchell mount. Now, why would you want to use the, uh, the Mitchell threaded and castle nut? Well, uh, it's very simple. The Ronin 2 has very powerful motors. So one of the things that might happen if you're just using the washer is if you change directions really fast with your joystick, you're going left and you go right, you have the stiffness and power and acceleration turned way up on the Ronin, it might actually move the mount. So of course, what makes this very important is that you put, you really tighten down on the mount. So it's a little harder to do that with just the knob, although it's a fairly large knob and you can apply a, a good amount of pressure. You might see a grip try to get some vice grips on there, or we actually make this very beautiful, handy, castle nut uh, wrench. So um, you can actually put that on there and you can crank that down and make sure it's super tight. So we sell the Mitchell thread and the castle nut and the castle nut wrench. Um, so this provides a way, a, a secondary way for you to securely mount very securely. Like say you're, on, you're doing vehicle mounts and you have a heavy payload. Um, this is the most professional um, way you can mount onto a Mitchell. So the, the important thing to take out of this is that um, we, we went to great lengths in order to um, give you many options on how you're gonna mount your Ronin. And so uh, why? Because maybe you already own uh, a Mitchell thread and castle nut. Maybe you already own the Mitchell washer. 
And so, which whatever one you own, um, you'll be good to go. You don't have to um, buy something else if you already own those parts. And you can see here very easily, it all comes apart and um, so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> holes down the center. We got the two inch on center here for the, the Mitchell thread, thread, which brings us to the next point. A lot of people, uh, I've been getting some emails, is the Ronin 2 compatible with the Ronin 1 dovetail? And the answer is no. <laughs> so what does that mean? So if you have, if you're the owner of a crane, if you're the owner of a vehicle mount, uh, a cable cam perhaps, and for the last couple of years, you have been working with a Ronin 1 mounting plate, a uh, universal mount like we have here on the Pro Ring. Uh, and of course, uh, this is another great example. Maybe you have our, our Pro Ring and you're using our either our CM002 or 003. So that, that means it's either the Ronin 1 mount or the Ronin M mount. And you already have it on your ring or your crane or whatever it might be. One of the great things, ideas I came up with is I wanted to make the this new Ronin 2 universal mount backwards compatible. So um, if you are, might be familiar, we also make a Movi universal mount. And one of the cool features about our Movi universal mount is on the other side of the mount, we put a male um, dovetail on there, which matches up with the Ronin. So with the Ronin 1 uh, dovetail. So what does that mean? That means that you can have one mount on your device. So remember, this could be a crane, this could be a pro ring here, this could be a cable cam. And one day you can use the Ronin 1 or the Ronin M, right? It's the same dovetail. If you have our uh, Movi mount, it slides right into this mount. We make a tilted gravity mount, which also slides into the Ronin mount. But the nice thing we came up with is we took our Ronin 2 universal mount and we made a Ronin 1 adapter plate. So now this Ronin 1 adapter plate, we machined a pocket into the, the, the back side of the mount. And what, what you do is you just, you just drop it in and then you bolt it in with the two included screws and it becomes part of the mount. And so now that it's part of the mount, it makes the backside of your Ronin 2 mount slide right into a Ronin 1 dovetail. So what does this mean? Very simply is that your Ronin 2 mount that you're buying will be backwards compatible with a Ronin 1 mount. So this is a great solution. Like I just pointed out, if you have a crane or if you have a pro ring that one day you're working with a Movi, the next day you're working with a Ronin M, and then the next day you're working with a Ronin 2, like, for example, for myself, I own many gimbals. I have a Movi Pro, I have a Ronin 2, I have a Ronin M. And so different days, I might be using different gimbals with my Pro Ring. And so I don't want to have to be swapping mounts all the time. So that's why I came up with the idea of making all the mounts made up to a Ronin 1 standard. And in the case of the Ronin 2 mount, it's an optional accessory piece that just drops right in and turns this mount into a mount that slides into the Ronin 1 standard, thus allowing you to quickly swap gimbals on a specific device without having to swap an entire mount. Now, you'll notice, of course, our mount does include the uh, little button here. It's a safety catch, so it works just like the, the factory uh, DJI uh, system. Um, so, you know, it prevents it from falling off before you have a chance to tighten it. Um, so that's of course the same and, um, you know, here, I'm going to show you real quick here. You just loosen this and, um, you slide the Ronin right out of there. And I have a, one of the cinnamilled mounts here mounted to a, uh, O'Connor tripod head. And there you have it. So we quickly swapped out of the, um, out of the Ronin 2 handlebars into the tripod right here. And here we have my Pro Ring. And um, if I then take the optional accessory plate 
bolt that in there. We'd be able to slide this right into that other mount and then swap back into my pro rig. Now, of course, the pro rig could be any other device. So the important thing is I feel like we have come up with a very versatile, um, really universal sort of mounting uh, solution for your Ronin 2. Um, we are currently making them. They should be in stock shortly. And uh, so just to recap, it allows you to mount onto a Steadicam. You can use our Steadicam arm post adapter to go directly onto the Steadicam arm post. If you don't want to mount this directly to your sled, you can mount it to a tripod. You can mount it to a crane via Mitchell mounts. Um, you can mount it to a jib via any of the many mounting points that we have on our universal mount. It is compatible with our clamping system. And so you can use the swivel, you can use the arm post adapter, you can use our pro ring if you're a pro ring user. And um, we have a nice Mitchell wrench if you're using the Mitchell mount. And we have a Mitchell threaded collar to allow you to mount to, to Mitchell. And we even have a Mitchell washer and tie down knob um, in order for you to also provide another way to mount to a Mitchell. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, we have a Cinemild Facebook uh, group, a Cinemild users group. Lots of people posting in there with questions. I'm replying. It's a great place to, if you have a question about how something works, there's lots of people in there besides myself that are answering people's questions. So I do encourage you to join up and occasionally we do have very specific sales just that, that we just post in that group. So I also encourage you to join for that reason. Um, there's also a very good Ronin2 uh, Facebook group specific. Uh, some of the people from DJI are in there participating, answering people's questions. So it's a great place to go. And um, anyways, this is just the first of a whole line of Ronin2 products we're working on. I hope to make a few more announcements in the coming days about some new products that we'll be releasing for the Ronin 2. And so, well, that's about it. That's all we have for today. And um, thanks for supporting Cinemild. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Uh, lots of different places you can do that. And uh, have a good shoot, guys. I hope you enjoy and appreciate our Ronin 2 Universal Mount as much as I do. I'm really excited to start using it. All right, guys, have a good shoot.